Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl Tosca. Um, happy new moon in Leo. I decided to just do like a really short tarot reading and then I was gonna show you how I do my new moon ritual in Leo. Alright, so I got my sage, got my sage going, and I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I already pre shuffled the cards, these are the cards that came out. Um, Archon of Barbello and Magnetism of Eros. This is from my White Light Oracle deck. <clears throat> I see for some of you, you are protected, divinely protected. Some of you are, are starting your spiritual journey because I see one and I see ten. Um, so this is a new like concept for you, a new idea for you, and you're very much like into it. A lot of you have um, a very um, big sense of like how to manifest and like your intuition and how important it is. And yeah, I think for some of you though, you need to be careful because some of you have unhealthy attachments or sometimes you are attached to something or someone and it can be very draining and it can um, cause you to spiral out of control so I want you guys to take more control of your life take more control of your emotions and your mental health um, all right so that's what I have for that and this is my Uh, magical of mystic moments tarot deck so you got the queen of swords two of wands and the four of wands um, it's telling me that a lot of you need to set your sights higher maybe there was something that you thought was for you or was meant for you but you know when you when you kind of keep yourself on that kind of level you stay stagnant so it's telling you to be clear with what you want be clear and set your sights higher on things that um, things that are better for you things that are more open for you um, and I do see success and big opportunities coming in for you now is the time to be manifesting now is the time to be praying um, and letting it go it's praying, believing, and then let it go. Praying, believing, and let it go. That's funny because this is my angel answers. Let go came out. Some of you are letting go of karmic cycles. Some of you are letting go of relationships that are no longer serving you. Um, some of you are cutting ties with people. And, you know, cutting ties doesn't necessarily mean that you don't care or you don't love them or you don't feel for them anymore it just means you know I, this this point in my life is over you know this person is not right for me it's time for me to let it go it's time for you to grow it's time for you to glow up literally and then you have this is my bluebird lenormand it says clouds brightly shine strong in position life will be fine with a firm decision Beware of clouds, misty and obscure. Life cloaked in darkness is hard to endure. Yeah, I feel like some of you are still stuck in in your thought process that maybe this person or this friend or this situation is is the one or is meant for you. Um, you you gotta let that go. Um, sometimes we put pedest people on pedestals when we really shouldn't. And it's one of those things where everyone is, you know, we're all just people, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care how rich or famous or whatever, we still make mistakes. We're just human beings, you know, we're still trying to get through this life. So I am going to show you what I do as a ritual for the new moon in Leo. Um, it doesn't always have to be uh, in a new moon, but definitely whenever there is a new moon, it's it's some something that I do. So I got that burning. It's so freaking like smoky right now. 
So I take this time to like cleanse my tarot deck in the smoke. Um, I tell myself release any unhealthy attachments to my tarot deck, release any unhealthy attachments to my um, oracle decks, and just just cleanse it. It's it's like taking a shower. So sage is really good for showering. Um, <laughs> it's really good for showering. It's really good for um, cleansing. Um, whenever I do readings, especially on decks that I use often, you have to cleanse it. And you have to protect your tarot decks, you guys. If you guys have tarot decks, please protect them. Please put them um, in in cases or in like a cloth bag like this all right um because they do attract energy they do attract things and i'm trying to get the smokiness out but it's very very smoky right now all right so i cleanse my decks and this is a little thing that i have so yesterday i um I had some ground uh, black pepper and I decided, you know what, I need some protection. Um, I need to protect myself from certain things, certain people, certain energies. So I have ground black pepper and then I have two whole nutmegs to attract abundance. Three sticks of cinnamon to see my manifestations come true and two bay leaves for success and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it outside um now pepper black pepper is really good for protection it goes with um the planet mars i know that nutmeg pepper the black pepper and the cinnamon are all um kind of with the fire sign energy so i'm gonna put that outside and then i know bay leaf is an air sign it like kind of is part of an air sign i don't know which one i would probably say gemini but anyway i'm putting it in front of my house like on the windowsill just so that um protection and um, my manifestations can come and sometimes I will blow cinnamon like powdered cinnamon on my front door to um, to see that money will come in so yeah that's what I do I also do a salt bath um, and I clean the house usually on a full moon or a new moon I clean the house sorry you can see my <laughs> my slippers but I clean the house I mop I clean and you know I kind of release old energies and um, bring new things in so I hope that helps you guys please 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 take care of your tarot decks don't just leave them hanging around don't just leave them um, you know unattended please take care of them all right so that's what I got I hope you guys have a happy um, new moon in Leo. Peace out.